Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a private server or dev account in the latest version of Fortnite, which is 16.40, and you'll also be able to join all of your friends who are not even using the private server or the dev account, and you'll be able to troll them because they'll be able to see all of your skins. So this is a hybrid dev, which means that you guys can go into actual Fortnite and not a private version of Fortnite, and you can join all of your friends. So it works sort of like a skin changer, except that your friends will actually be able to see the skins that you're wearing. So before I show you guys this private server, if you guys haven't liked the video already, make sure you guys go do that. I'll be putting a little bit of a higher like goal this time. Let's see if we can get 200 likes on this video. That'd be pretty amazing. And also, if you guys want, you can consider subscribing and turning on those notifications so that you guys can see every single private server video get, gets released each time that they are updated. So to get this private server or dev account, you want to join the Project Cloud Discord server and I'll have the link for this in the description. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the downloads and then you want to make sure that you have the latest version of Node. And to check if you have the latest version, just simply click on this link, go over here and this will take you to the website. And then you just want to download the LTS and you can do this for Windows. So just click on the Windows and it'll install down here and then you can run this and install the latest version of Node. So I know that I already have the latest version because I actually use Node, so I will not be downloading this, but if the private server for some reason does not work for you, make sure you have the latest version of Node because this is usually the issue. So then you wanna go over to the Downloads newest channel after you've installed Node, and you wanna click on this button over here to download the latest version of the Cloud Launcher. So once you download it, it'll come up with something like this. So you just want to drag this over to your desktop just to keep it all organized and easy for you guys to see. I'm just going to be doing that. And then once you have this over here, just right click on it and then click on extract here. And if it doesn't look like this for you, make sure you guys have WinRAR installed and that will fix everything. So now you've done that, you can simply delete the RAR file and you'll have a folder that looks like this. So if you click on the folder, you'll see there's a couple of things in it that you will need. Right, so once you have this, this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky. So make sure you're watching this completely. So the first thing you wanna do is you can open up like a new file explorer just to make it easier for you. So what I'm gonna do is you wanna scroll down over here and you wanna go over to your place where you installed Fortnite. So for some of you guys, it'll be on like your C drive. For me, I installed it on an external hard drive. So mine will be over here. Just find the place where Fortnite is installed. And if you don't know, you can just go to the Epic Games launcher and check for yourself. So where mine is installed is in my hard drive. So I'm just gonna click on this. I'm gonna go over to my games folder and it's going to be inside of the Fortnite folder. And then once you're in this Fortnite folder like this, you'll have three folders like this. So it doesn't matter where you installed Fortnite, whenever you click on the Fortnite folder, you'll see these three different folders. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on Fortnite game, then you wanna click on binaries, and then you want to click on Win64. So make sure you're in Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. So again, once you're in this folder, you'll see that you have all of these things in here and it will look like this. So make sure you have all of this stuff in here and just ensure that it is normal. So once you have this, you want to go over here and you want to copy all three of these files at the same time. You want to go on into here, right click, and then click on paste right here. And then you want to click on replace whenever it asks you to replace these files. So once you've done that, you will be good to go for that step. So now you can just X out of these two and I'll show you guys what to do in the next step. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go down here or wherever your Epic Games launcher is and you just wanna open up your Epic Games launcher. And once you've opened up your Epic Games launcher, just look in the bottom left and make sure you're logged in on the account that you wanna use for this. And since you can join friends, make sure your account, like if you are planning on joining friends, make sure your account has friends or you can friend people on it. And just make sure you're logged into the correct account that you'd like to use down here. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to your library and then of course launch up Fortnite. So just click on Fortnite and it'll launch up for you. So once you've launched it up, if you see all this, you, that means you've done it correctly. If you see a pop-up in that terminal window, that means you've done it all correctly. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have this thing in the front so you're ready to click on it. And then you wanna wait until you get to the select game mode screen. All right, so once you get onto this screen, you just wanna press okay. And then once you've done that, you just wanna click on battle royale. And if that terminal popped up again, you are doing everything correctly. If it did not pop up, then something went wrong and you have to redo this. 
So once you're into the game, you'll look like this. So you just want to click on escape and you'll see that if you do it correctly again, you will have um, level 9,999. So again, once you're in this lobby, like I've said before, you can join any of your friends, like your normal Epic Games friends. You can see I have a ton of them because I used this account for another video and a ton of people friended it. But yeah, you guys can see I have a ton of friends that are in the game right now. And before I join those friends, I'm just gonna show you guys the locker. So once you're in here, you'll see you have all of these things pre-selected because they wanted to pre-select all the emotes and skins and everything. So you already have an interesting combo of cosmetics, but if you go into here, you can change your skin to whatever skin that you want. So you got all of these skins all the way up to the latest version of Fortnite. So we're gonna go through all these skins and then I'll show you guys their proof that we're actually on the most recent version of Fortnite and we have every single skin in the entire game. So if we look up chapter two, season six. Oh, you guys can see we have all of the chapter two, season six skins, all the way up to the newest version of Fortnite. And these get updated as the new skins come out. So here's some proof. We have all the NBA skins right here. So you guys can see that we have all the latest skins and that is the proof. And you also have some unreleased skins as well. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you guys how we have unreleased skins in here. So you guys can see over here, if it says a placeholder outfit, that means that is an unreleased skin or a skin that was never actually released and it's from an older season. So in this case, it is an unreleased skin and we have the Doombot Asian. So this skin was never released and will probably never be released, but is from season four and is one of the henchman skins. So this is really cool since you cannot actually use these in the real game. And you guys can show all your friends all these unreleased skins. So you can see this Marauder skin as well. None of these will ever be released, most likely. But you guys can see we got the Marauder Heavy without the helmet. And we also got him with the helmet. So that is pretty cool. And then you can see down here we have the Henchman from Season 2. And then if you're going, you'll see we have a huge group of unreleased skins. So we got this, Stark Auto Defense. And then we got all of these unreleased skins as well. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see that we have all of the default skins from chapter two. And then we also have all of the default skins from chapter one over here. So you guys can see that we have all of those skins as well. And that is it for these skins. So before I show you guys all the other cosmetics, we're just gonna join a person as the Renegade Raider. So let's just equip that. So if you equip the Renegade Raider, we're just going to join some people right now. Alright, so you guys can see that we have joined someone else's lobby and they can obviously tell that you have the skin. And if you guys don't believe me, you can join your friends and you can test and they will be able to see your skin if you for some reason don't believe me. But you guys can see that we are in their lobby and they can see the Renegade Raider. So this is just better than a skin changer as you guys can see that we can actually just get into anybody's lobby and you can they can actually see the skin and with a skin changer they cannot see the skin. So before I end the video I'm just going to show you guys all of the back blings, pickaxes, gliders and contrails. So you guys go down here you can see that we have all of the back blings and then we have all of the pickaxes and then we have all of the contrails and gliders all the gliders and then we got all of the contrails and we got all of the emotes as well so if you scroll down through these we got all of the emotes in the entire game as well all right so finally this is the last part of the video i'm going to show you guys how to uninstall this so if you want to uninstall this private server um first of all you want to exit out of fortnite you just want to exit fortnite completely and then you just want to exit all of these so you just want to exit out of all of these and then it should open up Epic Games. So once you're in Epic Games, you want to go to the library. You want to click on Fortnite. You want to click on these three dots over here. And you just want to click right over here on verify. And then this will verify your game and it will be back to normal. And you'll be able to play normal Fortnite after you've verified the game files. So once this is at 100%, um, mine, this takes a little bit, it takes about 20 minutes, maybe, it really depends, but once this is at 100%, you will be able to play normal Fortnite again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure you guys drop a like, and make sure you subscribe if you want more of these private server videos as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.